according to a report by Punch, the leader of the Yoruba Self Determination Group, Professor Banji Akitoye, has said that he was shocked when the Vice President Yemi Oshibaju declared his intention to contest for the presidency against the national leader and presidential candidate of the ruling party, the All Progressive Congress APC, Bolatinumbu. Professor Akintoye noted that although he was shocked by Oshibajo's presidential aspiration, but he was not surprised he lost APC presidential ticket to Tinubu. He said he knew already that it would be impossible for the vice president to beat the former governor of Lagos State to the ruling party's presidential ticket. He further added that he would never rejoice over Oshibajo's loss for his attempts, but the equation Equations were heavily stacked against him to emerge as the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC ahead of the 2023 election. He noted that when it was reported that the ruling party APC, Northern Governor, supported the Shibaju's candidacy, he laughed at such reports because he always knew that the vice president doesn't have the political stamina of APC presidential flag bearer Tinumbu. Professor Kintoye said although Oshibajo is one of most educated men in Southwest geopolitical zones, a professor of law and a former attorney general in Lagos State who has performed excellently by winning many cases against the federal government but there was no way he could have defeated Tinumbu who he claimed to be most capable politicians politician in Yoruba land. Eh, uh -huh. So, because when I hear some people, you know, try to throw jabs, uh, throwing jabs at uh, Tinubu, I was just wondering what has this man said wrong? I think uh, the reason why people are not really happy with his statement is the last statement he made that Tinubu, who he claimed to be the most capable politician in Yoruba land. Uh -huh. So, don't need any further interpretation. So with all these things happening, it's the one that is capable. So I don't know the kind of interpretation you might want to give to this because well, it's more, it's the one that is capable, capable in what sense? Mm -hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. Now they are bragging about Oshun State. What do they want to go and do? They, they've already sent many, many digits. You were saying one thing about uh, how prepared the APC is, uh, this and that. This man is not doing anything. Obi is not doing anything. What is it? So those ones that you are thinking that they have gone there to go and do what? To go and be converting people. It is to give people money. Unless you are telling Peter Obi to go and get recruit to recruit a lot of people so that they will have a bulk money to share because that is exactly what they are going to do. Because honestly speaking, what can you talk about APC that they have done? They have brought pain and and agony to the people. So are you going to tell me that they want? To, they have something they are going to say to the people? No, because they've weaponized poverty already. So they are going there money for money. I think uh, the battle is between APC and PDP because the PDP man, candidates already said that they are going to give them dollar for dollar, pounds for pounds, euro for euro. So what are we talking about? You want to be to go there to go and do with ordinary math when people are already hungry. So people will continue to be in that position since that is what they want. They, want to, they don't want to use their brain. Uh -huh. The only thing they can, the money they can collect from all these politicians or APC because APC is ready to give, PDP is ready to give. All they can do with the money is just to eat Amala that day. You don't finish. Just to eat Amala. One meal. You don't finish. Because things are expensive as we speak. So if Professor Akibanji is telling us that uh, Tinubu is the capable one, good and fine. Let them continue deceiving themselves. We don't want good things in this country because we have a lot of people who are qualified, but we have unqualified, really the qualified. Professor Banji, so you support Bola Tinubu to rule Nigeria at his poor head and age, coupled with his dubious source of wealth. You are really surprising to the young ones in this country. Please join hands to hand over leadership to the youth who are wasting away after acquiring requisite qualifications and experiences. The old should allow the youth to get to leadership because Nigeria is bleeding and needs redemption. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that Professor Akinto, oh God, which type of human beings are all this? This man has collected some funds from Tifnumbu. It is highly disheartening that such assumed principal personalities could be see easily jettisoned. 
his Omoluabi stand and support a thief against Nigerians, which is most unfortunate. Professor Akintoye should face realities on ground. Tinubu wouldn't have been wouldn't have beat or defeated Oshibajo if not because he bought this our governors who don't even stand by the truth but but money which has taken this country backwards in progress good talk mr paul if not the money he spends and the brain to buy more forms for some governor and later they step down after collecting huge amounts of money but god is watching and he will judge everyone according to he or her it's our own work but i don't understand this man no, because if you are saying you are fighting for self-determination and the same uh, i don't understand oshibajo lost to lack of integrity and vote buying even with the close to 50 billion era spent by a uh, border is g3 2003 shall be loaded at least stolen weights are being unleashed you will all be shocked at the general election Sometimes money will fade when integrity is the only commodity. I agree totally. They will leave Nigeria when he will finish the election and Ubi becomes our president. Of a professor that is supposed to see beyond is saying Tinubu with his antecedents and atrocities is more capable than Oshibaju. I don't understand them more. Then we need more prayers in this country. Professor needs prayers and laying on laying of hands i thought uh, he has some things good to say this professor is unfortunate too because like i said it was good when it was starting when he started saying what he was saying but at the end the last statement that says you know, is more capable than uh, shiba you <laughs> and that will come weak people pass i stand to be corrected nigerian's voice is more than delegates god will keep us alive amen don't get the uh, prof wrong He's only saying that he knew that Ushibaju cannot win Tinubu in the primary elections. Have he compared their chances and political structures individually, not as if the man is blaming Ushibaju for contesting the primary primaries with Tinubu. We are not right. Even with a blind and deaf population, how will Bola Tinubu win Ushibaju if not for the dollarization of that primary? Tinubu is like yesterday, white. Oshibaju is like today. You that you are defending the professor, like I said, from the beginning, man was saying the right. He said he's more capable. We are not talking of structures or whatever. He said he's more capable or the most capable politician in Yoruba land. I don't understand why you are trying to defend or twist the man's statement. He said it, it has a mention words. Why is this elderly man talking like this? Oshibaju contested because he knew that Tinubu cannot make a better Nigeria. Imagine Tinubu saying he will recruit 50 million youth into the army. He said it was a mistake, and the mistake is making over and over over the time. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.